what's up everybody, my name is Trofinet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We're still at Hangman's Alley where we ended off the last quite busy episode actually. We have uh, done quite a lot last time, so we went to Cabot House, we, uh, we've done Imogene's Quest, we went to the Amphitheater, to the Boston Public Library and to Good Neighbors, so that was very very nice indeed last time i also promised that we were going back to the pridwin to fix up our power armor but in the meantime i've done some research i've done some planning and today i want to do actually something of a scavenging hunt first so we're gonna end up in the pridwin anyway but i want to try something to give us a substantial upgrade that we'll need later on for that we need to go back to east boston which also means that we can, uh, well, just uh, deliver the, finish the quest at Cabot House for uh, bringing back Imogene safely. Uh, and I think this first trip should be pretty straightforward since we killed basically everything along the way before. Because survival is actually pretty generous on that front. It uh, keeps, it has a very low respawn rate. So even the raiders over here at Backstreet Apparel are still dead. Even though we like killed them like 10 episodes ago, which for me is going to be 10 to 15 hours. Oh, I was detected for a second. Aha, there we go. So the super mutants are firing at, yeah, the vertibert up there. I should probably stop them from killing the... Uh... There we go. Oh, I think that grenade bounced off the, uh, the side there. There we go. And then another super mutant in the back. I should be able to pop him in the head. Although, no. Oh, he took cover like a champ there. He's he's going to be fine, isn't he? Is he firing at the vertebrate or not? I think the vertebrate might be firing at them. Oh, there they are. Oh, that, that was a, a nice salvo there. Where's the... There is another one. I'm still in danger. The vertebrate has trouble firing. Aha, over there. Okay. Um, I have a critical, so why not, eh? Ah, god damn it. There we go. That's not the one. Oh, yeah, there's one up there as well. There we go. Still in danger. Ooh, wow. They're all up in this building over here. I might want to check that out. Because for... Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a hound. That's the problem. There's an attack dog here. There we go. There's something else, but dogs means meat. Mongrel meat. There we go. Thanks for that. Now the frame rate is dying a little bit. Which is, I think, because of the, the vertebrate being so low. I don't think this is a door, is it? Ah, it is a door. Yes. And we opened it up pretty easily. There's a lot of dead raiders around here. But uh, for the thing I want to do today, I actually need to be level 28, and I'm not level 28 just yet. So might as well uh, level up on these guys. Okay, another one died. Another one of the super mutants died. But there's at least one more alive. There he is. Um, hi. You're gonna die. There we go. Still in caution. Got a little bit of experience for that, but still haven't leveled up. I mean, I'm going to probably level up when I uh, complete the Cabot House quest, but uh, just to make sure that this building is cleared out, there might be some nice treasure at the top of this building. I've never really been up here. I know I pass by it all the time, because it's always full of super mutants. Do need to be careful to not fall down. I don't think... Is that...? Oh no, that's just a corpse. Oh, that was weird. Aha! The corpse over here actually is slumped over a, a steamer trunk, which always has some nice loot. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to use that. So I see the Brotherhood of Steel fighting over there. I don't know what they're firing at even. Gonna have to take a look. Because, I mean, if these guys die, they also drop some nice loot. So these guys, what are you firing at? Oh, the raiders up there, right. Ah, but I think they already killed all the raiders because they're all dead over here. There's even a dead bear over there. Um, so yeah, I think that's... Oh, fusion cells. I'm definitely going to grab those. And of course, the ribs. Because I can make uh, some lovely spare ribs from the jaguar meat. Okay, never mind. Let's just move on to Cabot House. 
It's really nice. It's like the, the only house that isn't wrecked because it's been maintained by the robots and, uh, and Edward, presumably. I don't see the Cabots restoring their own house. But there we go. Cabot House. Let's uh, finish up that quest. Seems like Edward is no longer at Cabot House. This is maddening. But he can contact... Uh, yeah, he can't... Oh, Jack Edward can contact Edward again. To the Hartley Modulator. Do you copy? Machine now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... For God's sake, Sammy, the doorway right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. So there we go. Hello? Lorenzo. Edward? There's in. somebody Edward. in the basement of Parsons Insane Asylum called Lorenzo. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. But well, we kind of can also already assume what might have gone wrong this time. We know the raiders actually stole a bit of the serum. And that the serum gives you immense strength. And of course keeps you from aging. So if a few of those raiders still had some of the serum or injected themselves with it. They might have been powerful enough to try and take over Parsons I Insane Asylum. We're done. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. So there we go. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? We did, uh, and she's fine. Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? So ramping up the mystery a little bit, so uh, got it, Jack? Got it. Good. Uh, make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. There we go, even though we said, uh, let's go. Try not to hurt him. I love father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. So there we go. Lorenzo is Lorenzo Cabot, the father of the family, who for some reason is locked up in the basement of Parsons Insane Asylum. We can already assume kind of that it's gonna have uh, a little link to that mysterious serum, but uh, we'll have to find that out once we make our way back to Parsons Insane Asylum. And even though we said to Jack, let's go, he's just gonna meet us outside of the Insane Asylum, so we have a little bit of time to do some uh, some work in, in between. So let's do that first, because I have a little plan. Ready? Let's go. You should know what we're going to be dealing with. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. So there we go. That's a bit more uh, backstory on Lorenzo. I wanted to follow, follow Jack uh, like that, but I think I'm gonna. I think I can leave him alone, right? Not exactly sure. But I think I can. I just need to nip around the back here. Because I'm gonna go back uh, south here again. So remember the Shamrock Tap House. There's actually a building somewhere in between here. So if I just mark that... No, not, not mark that location. I want to just go over here. Move the marker. 
So let's go over there, kind of. It's a custom market because the place we're going to is actually an unmarked location. But it is, on the other hand, a pretty big building. So I'm going to try and be sneaky about this to just get there without too much trouble. Is that... Yeah, that's a raider. So might as well... Uh, take... Oh, hi. Um, I'm just going to toss a grenade around the corner. Boop. And then there's one on the left. I heard him. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is Pikmin's gallery, by the way. <laughs> so right next to that as well. Um, he's gonna go behind the wall, but that doesn't really mean that I can kill him. There we go. I, I'm gonna have to reload eventually, but not at the moment. So Pikmin's gallery, right? Uh, well, filled with raiders and also dead raiders, because we saw the other side of it already. Ow. Hey, you! Behind the car! You lose your head! There we go. That was the last one. I was, I was still in danger. kind of forgot about that. Um, the Pikmin's gallery is filled with radius, but there's something uh, very nice about it as well. I don't think I'll do this today. No, I have uh, I have other plans for today's episode. So uh, we'll move past Pikmin's gallery again, once again, and uh, move back to the east of Boston, right next to that church icon, basically. We're passing by the Old North Church by accident almost, because uh, of course this is the location of the railroad, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because this is where the, the line actually ends. Um, but I'm looking for the building, because of course since it's an unmarked location, I'm kind of have to orient myself so I kind of know where it is. I hear gunfire. I think I might be pretty close to where I need to be. So yeah, this is the customs house. But then down here, who? This is quite the sight, isn't it? Um, it's somewhere around the corner, then I suppose. I'm really confused. I should have prepared this a little better, probably, but uh, it is what it is. So it's super mutants. Ooh, and there's a legendary up there. So let's just sneak up here. I don't actually need to sneak because these guys know where I am. There we go. That's a super mutant skirmisher. Let's grind up a critical against this guy. I'm actually going to use one. And then... Okay. There we go. And then I can actually go for the head for this guy. And I get the kill on that one as well. And we get Grim Reaper Sprint twice in a row. There we go. And this guy has... Oh, God damn it, I'm getting the melee weapons constantly. Assassin's Pipe Wrench does 50% more damage against humans. That's actually pretty good as well. Wow. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to check if any of the Brotherhood guys actually died, because that would be really nice. But, even more important, there's a sleeping bag over here. And I'm actually gonna use that right now. Okay, and I got insomnia from that, but I can actually just get rid of that with some antibiotics. There we go. And that gets me mildly dehydrated, but with a bit of purified water, I can fix that back up to... Is that thirsty is good, right? Yeah, thirsty gives me... A little less intelligence, which means that I can uh, trigger Idiot Savant a bit more. Because the reason we're gonna... Okay. The reason we're gonna save here is because of the very important fact that the thing that we're gonna attempt is really freaking hard. Aha. Uh -huh, I think I found it. Yeah, 35 court. That's what I wanted. And there's a lot of dead robots and raiders over here. Okay. And the turret just popped up. Um, there we go. Let's kill those two turrets. Can you kill the other one too, please? There we go. Okay. Two turrets down, and of course there's still raiders nearby that want to murder us. But this is the building we want to enter. The building that has something really, really cool at the top of it, but also really, really well protected. So, 35 court. A building that is a particular... Well, it's, it's very, very nicely done, even though it's a completely unmarked location, as you might have noticed on the map. It's uh, not marked at all, and the staircase actually leads to nowhere, so the elevator is the only access point. Okay, glad I checked that, so let's just go in and see what we can find higher up. Okay, and that gets us on the top, and this is immediately to the... No, no, no. Wait, what? No, he went back down again. Okay, fair enough. So after a bit of fun on the elevator, we get back up. So, there we go. I need to be very, very careful now, because it sounds like we're already up. 
on top of the building. I thought there was going to be a fight. No. Okay, there we go. That's the fight that I was talking about. So I think they su they're supposed to be shooting at each other. Oh, this is bad that I'm already here. And there's raiders here as well. That's a bit weird. This door can be opened though. I mean, I've never done this before, but it is something that I've God. wanted to do for a while. Because there's something really, really cool in this on this rooftop. So when we get up here, we kind of have this funny area over here. I don't know what is going on, but this is exactly where we want it to be. As you can see, there's a little room over there. Um, that's where the price is that we want, but as you can also see, there's like a door on the left and a door on the right. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work, but there's two very dangerous enemies around here and I'm packaged from a lack of food so let's just eat something first and what we're going to do is try and block ourselves off from this but I don't know what the trigger is for this guy ah crap okay um 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 and we get a sentry bot on one side and an assault drone on the other side so I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go down there. I think I killed the assault drone with the, yeah, okay. I killed the assault drone with the uh, the mines, which is good. That was what I planned to do, but I do still have two pulse grenades. So, oh god, oh wow, it's right on top of me. Oh, that actually, it's okay. Oh, and that's another pulse grenade. Now. I could try and get the head, but that's not gonna help, really. Okay, I can fire through that, which is fine. Ooh, I should probably get some healing going. I think I can kill it like this. This is this is easy. Oh, this is gonna be. This is kind of cheating, but but um, I don't really care. It's trying to hit me, but can I hit it through here now? Um, I think I can fire at it, give him a few criticals. I can't, can't hit him in the fusion course, but... There we go, that's one critical. That doesn't even do all that much. And then another one. Ooh, wow, that minigun really, really hurts. There we go. And, I, oh, I need to get, I need to back up because that thing explodes. Yeah, okay. That still hit me through the ceiling, but uh, yeah, sentry bolts explode. And I think even on this difficulty, they might explode twice. I'm not 100% sure, but they might. So I actually uh, ate up uh, that claw steak to heal that off. But I think they might actually explode twice. I'm not 100% sure. Survival is funky with that. I know sentry bolts always explode, but I know legendary robots explode twice on this difficulty. But it seems like you won't, you won't explode again. <laughs> Let's just check that out. So two fusion cores, always handy. But then, uh, since we killed... Yeah, we killed the Assault Drone in one go with the two Plasma Mines and the Pulse Mines. I had a bunch of uh, Fragmentation Mines as well, ready to booby trap the other side. But the alarm went off a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Uh, so that's the Assault Drone down. But there's two buttons in each of these rooms. And if you press both of them, you open up the center console. So let's just push this button. That's one. And then we can push the other button. And then I hope... I'm actually good on uh, what I'm going to get here. Please let this be good. Oh, that's not good. That's not correct. Oh, it is. It is. It is. It's just bugged. Um, that is weird. So this is the first time if you're level 28 or higher, this place actually spawns XO1 armor. But for some reason, it doesn't look like XO1 armor. I've read about this. It actually is a normal bug. It might be that if I enter it, I'm actually able to uh, fix that. So let's try that. I'm going to go in there. It doesn't seem to change appearance just yet. Is it? Aha, there we go. Now it's XO1 armor. Look at that. So this is basically one of the best ways to find a full suit of XO1 power armor. Huh? And this is, ladies and gentlemen, the most powerful piece of armor in the game. 
Uh, of course, we can upgrade it quite a bit, which is why we went for the science perk. But uh, this lovely, lovely piece of power armor is basically the most powerful uh, armor in the game. We're gonna build this up in the Pridwin uh, in a minute, but this is, I mean, look at this thing. It is really cool, which is also why I didn't care about my other power armor suit being uh, being broken by the sentry bolt. Because uh, I'm fine with what we have right now. I'm just going to take the fusion core out of it um, so I can walk along with that. But yeah, 35 cord has um, XO1 armor starting from level 28. So which is why it was really important that we leveled up before we went here. And of course, no need to uh, take the elevator down. We have awesome power armor right now. So let's just jump off the building. Boom. Oh, crap. I don't want to probably explode this car, but uh, Medex, there we go. That's always nice. So I'm just murdering raiders with uh, my new power armor suit. I don't even need to worry about damage at this point because uh, I basically have the most powerful bit of armor the soonest you could get it. Um, and now, of course, we're going to have to scavenge just a little bit to uh, build that up to something really, really cool. Ooh, and there's two Nuka-Cola cherries and a Quantum over here, so don't mind if I do. So, with that done, I think this is a nice open enough area to throw the Vertibird signal grenade. So, there we... Oh, no! No, that was my last grenade. <laughs> God damn it! So that sometimes happens, um, that it fails to land at the location you request. I'm wondering if I can just swim across. I would probably, I should probably not do that with power armor. So I'm not going to get a vertebrate over here. Oh, I am going to kill that rat stack though. There we go. That actually gives me a critical as well. And some rat stack meat. There we go. I'm going to take the hide as well. I'm just gathering resources all around. So I'm just going to take a hike along the coastline just to uh, go back over there. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the vertibird isn't even going to show up. Okay, so that walk took me uh, quite a bit longer than I'd like to admit. But at least we can get up to the Pridwin now. There we go. Vertibird takes us up to the Pridwin. And then we're back here. So why the Pridwin? Well, the Pridwin has a nice collection of materials right at hand. And there's, of course, a power armor station. So before we start, let's transfer all our junk in here. Because I've picked up a lot of junk along the way. And then we can open that up. And then let's craft. It might be over encumbered because of this. But, uh, ooh, I can already see I'm missing adhesive. Okay, adhesive is fine, but I need the first rank of armor for Mark III, which is probably the least I can do right now. So let's get out just a little bit because I still have a level up in the bag, which means that we're finally going for... Wait a second, I am armor too. So that's not a problem. Wait, what's the highest that I can get? So I am armor two right now and I only need armor three to go to Mark V. Uh, hmm. I should probably then take... I need two more ranks of armor if I want to have the maximum. So I might as well just take armor... What's the difference between the two? 20 points. And a bit heavier, but... Also use a lot more resources. Although I want to get this as high as possible in one go. So let's just go for armor rank 3 then. So there we go. Armorer rank 3. Confirm. And now we need to see. So if I want to put it up to mark 5, I need 6 more adhesive and 1 more rubber. Uh, everything else, yeah, I picked up a lot of ceramic along the way with dinner plates and coffee cups and stuff like that. So I have enough of that. But yeah, this is gonna cost quite a lot of materials. Uh, I even need a lot of nuclear material as well, which I don't have. I don't know if I can actually buy everything I want here. Let's see. So, I managed to scrounge up a few materials which would allow us to go up to Mark IV. I can't find any more adhesive than that. So I think I'm just going to put the helmet up to Mark IV. And we'll uh, see about the rest later on. It's kind of sad that I now took that armor perk. But yeah, it is what it is. So, higher level helmet. And we actually lack any sort of materials to uh, even uh, 
attempt to upgrade anything else. So power armor still costs a lot of materials. But we've learned our lesson. I need some more uh, vertibird grenades. Wait a second. Vertibird signal grenades. Do I need to buy those from you? I thought I could just ask for them. So he sells them, but I thought I could get some for free. But apparently not. Let's just buy all of them. There we go, got some money in return for that as well. And after a well-earned rest, we Attention. are of course packaged from food. But I can I go back in the power armor. And then we can try and fly out of here. Because I want to see if we can just fly directly to the Parsons Insane Asylum. So of course we always jump down in style. And then I can just probably toss a vertibird signal grenade around here somewhere. That can get us to the insane asylum. And there we go. It's landing. So let's board the vertebrate. And then we can check the map to see where we can fast travel to. So it's kind of like easy fast travel. So let's just grab the map. And go to the north. To all the way to uh, Parson State Insane Asylum. Well now that I think about it. The only problem I kind of see with this plan. Um, yeah, so there, there's a, a race, so we're passing over the raceway, but I think we're gonna fly over the satellite dishes, which are, of course, swarming with super mutants. So that might hurt, but uh, I guess we'll see. I'm gonna try and fire at them a little bit if we pass over. So, and we found, of course, a distress signal now, because it's basically right below us here. Are they gonna fire at us? There's another suit of power armor down there, if you uh, didn't know that before. But otherwise, there we go. Approaching Parsons Insane Asylum. As you can see, there's like a tower over there in between the trees. That's uh, the Death Claw Tower. Oh, wait. Don't. Don't. Yup. I'm bringing her in. Hang on to something. There we go. We could use the... Oh, that was a bit of a weird animation. There we go. Uh, I killed at least one of the... The Raiders. Hello, Jack. To have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. Okay, I suppose we can go in. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, Indeed. Stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. All right, and finally, we can go inside of uh, Parsons Insane Asylum, which is also going to give us another upgrade. Okay, so everybody seems to be dead right now. Bunch of dead raiders, but other than that, everything seems to be quiet. I think. Ah. Okay, so that means that we'll probably have to fight our way through this place. Uh, this is also locked. With a key. Wait, listen. Yeah, I know. Listen, let's just fire them. Fire at them, I suppose. Uh, I still have a, a critical, right? There goes the scaver. There we go, up in his face. And then this guy... Goes down to two headshots as well. And this guy is not going to reach me. There we go. Sorry, Jack. I'm less of a tactical uh, woman. I'm just going to go for it. Ooh. Gee, he had a heavy sledgehammer. That was nice of him. Anything else here? It sounds like a third. There we go. Just using vats as a way to grind up the critical. Oh, wow, that was a shotgun. Goodbye to you. In the face. I'm going to take the circuit board because I definitely need that. So I'm going to be out on the lookout for adhesive and rubber. Uh, rubber is probably something I don't really know what's in certain items. But uh, other than that, I'll be on the lookout for those things. So Jack is obviously running uh, ahead, which is weird because uh, a minute ago he just urged me towards uh, being careful. But now he just forgot about all of that and he's just going straight for everything. Get yeah. Hi. Um, hi. 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 Just cal calm down and take that to the head. I think your bullets were outside of your gun there for a second. That's a bit weird. That's my property you're trespassing. Yeah, I don't think they're going to listen to you, Jack. Oh, there's a glowing rat roach over there. But it goes down in one sneak attack. Ah, this is cool. There's like mannequins all over the place, so you expect to see raiders. But of course, this place is infested with a few rat roaches instead. That's a nice little twist. I like that. 
I never really went so far into this, uh, this quest to see all of this, which is uh, pretty cool. And of course, uh, glowing animals always have uh, a bit of nuclear material on them, and we need that to upgrade the, uh, the power armor as well, so definitely gonna scrounge that up as well. Let's see... Any more raiders around here? Seems like we're going... Is this basically behind the walls of the insane asylum? This, this looks pretty cool. Okay, this guy already seems to be dead. So nothing I can do. They all seem to be dead. So that probably means that we're pretty close to... Ah, there we go. Kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I, I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. So they this might be problematic. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Okay, but what we're here for is this little thing. The Charisma Bubblehead. Nothing says pizzazz like a winning smile. Your charisma has been permanently increased by one. So definitely need that. So now we can actually get the local leader perk as well. Um, I need some answers, buddy. I'm not going any further until you tell me what's going on. I suppose it's time you knew. You may have guessed by now that my family and I have lived for a very long time. Thanks to the serum derived from my father's blood. I discovered the alterations to his blood in some of my earliest attempts to remove the artifact. I eventually isolated the anomalous compounds, which led to the serum treatment we still use. Okay, so to wrap that up a little bit, we know that um, Lorenzo Cabot found an artifact in Arabia, I think it was, and he put that artifact on him somehow. And that changed his DNA, changed his blood, and then his son discovered that he could use his father's blood to make a serum that made them basically immortal. So you're basically using your own father as a bit of a cow. So you've been keeping your father imprisoned here so you could stay young forever? Not at all. That was merely a serendipitous benefit of my research, which has allowed me to continue working on finding a cure. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. So it also made uh, Lorenzo kind of into uh, freaky monster with magical powers um and uh, i i know about this quest i know i said i haven't finished it yet but i know what lorenzo looks like and it's uh pretty pretty is scary to to face him so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do this i should probably also take a nap at some point because i haven't saved at all since we've entered the parsons insane asylum and i haven't really found at least I think I haven't found the mattress of some kind. So I guess we'll see. Hello! Oh god, there's frag mines all over the place. Okay, um, let's just pop this guy in the head first. Or woman. So I think... Uh, I mean... She's gonna go for that mine. I can probably trigger that. If, if she goes close enough. I'm guessing that's the woman. So if I just go... Wait a second, so time that right. And how fast do I shoot at that, basically? Oh god! Okay, there we go, at least hit that. And then I'm just gonna have to... Uh... Ah, we crippled her, that was good. Okay, level 29, grenade! Ow! 
Oh, wow. Okay, there's one with a rocket launcher here as well. Uh, it's a legendary raider. I should probably take over. It's a dead class take. Um, let's go in and try and dodge the, dodge the rockets there. Okay, there we go. That's the legendary one. So two torso shots. And then we can use a critical. There we go. And that bypassed her healing. I got my AP back, which is good. And then the scaver over there is going to have to go down to a few manual shots. There we go. That's the scaver down. Seems like there's somebody else up there. There we go. And then I'm going to quickly check out that legendary over... I think this was the one. Ooh, Relentless Missile Launcher. Refills your action points on a critical hit. That is actually pretty good with my build. But this thing weighs 21 pounds. Um, yeah, I'm going to take it with us. So it automatically refills my action points if I use a critical. So if I have a lot of criticals, I can just keep firing with this thing in VATS. Which is cool, I suppose. Is this the way we need to go, by the way? Because there's a hole in the wall. Should probably keep an eye out for frag mines. But it doesn't seem like this is the way to go. Can we get up there somehow? Yeah, there's a, a staircase on the left here. So, the abandoned wing of the insane asylum. There still are raiders over here, so that's clear at least. And other than that... So Jack is gonna just jump in, which is which is great, I suppose. Um, there we go. Then this I can do like that. There we go. That gives us Grim Reaper Sprint as well. Is Jack fighting? Ooh. Was he just punching her in the face? Of course, he has an increased strength. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, she was sliding away. She had a machete. That was nice. I mean, no, but uh, there's at least one legendary in there, so I'm gonna have to be careful. And another berserker. So going down and then underneath, which is... Wait, that sounded really, really close. Where the hell is this guy? Ah! Oh, wow, okay, so there's like a little opening over here. Yes, it is, there we go. <laughs> it is something, because you're dead now. So moving around, gonna have to be careful that I don't... Oh, okay. Stop moving towards Jack. That's that, and then turn around because I heard another one. Nope, that's just Jack. I have two criticals now, which is nice. I, you know what? I also leveled up, I think. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think for the upcoming fight, I should go with either... So Gunslinger is nothing. Rifleman I can't get just yet, because we need to be level 31. Can I get another... No, no critical banker. And Four Leaf Clover isn't going to help us in the next bit. Now, so I should probably just get the perk that I wanted to. So local leader, which is not going to help us in the slightest over here. But at least it's uh, giving us that perk. And then we're going deeper and deeper into this area. Ah, ooh. There we go. There's a bed. There's a bed. I can't get out. Get Jack, you're you're kind of in my way. But I'll just shoot. That looks that looked uh, horrifying. Um, so this is boom. This seems like an old underground facility. Ooh, and there's somebody trying to get out. <laughs> okay. Are there more raiders over here? Because if they're... We don't have time for this. There's at least one legendary. Ooh. Um, I can shoot at the, the torso if you want to. There we go. Ooh, Chinese officer sword. Okay, so there's at least that legendary. Well, where is it? The buttons don't seem to work. Is there a way up, maybe? No, we're still going down and I don't want to go down. Oh, can I get out of danger? Yeah, I managed to sleep an hour, so that's an autosave in the bag. Okay, that's a great room to open up. <laughs> Holy crap, that is... Gotcha. Yeah, disturbing. Um, but yeah, with that save in the bag, might as well risk it to go downstairs um, in one go. So, down the totally not creepy hole into what seems to be another layer of cells. 
with a lot of breakouts and everything. This is a weird area. God's sake, how many of these bastards are there? And then we come across the... Okay, that's the scaver, not the legendary. I'm not going to be able to hit that second shot. There we go. She did manage to hit me there. And there we had the legendary. Okay, so let's just try a torso shot. That didn't level him up. That did. So then we can just go for one more shot at the head with a critical. There we go. It's a normal legendary already, that is absolutely fine nocturnal sledgehammer does increase the amounts of damage as the night grows longer and less damage during the day um i, I need to take it because I, I wanted to check it out but i'm just gonna drop this because it weighs like 12 and i can't sell it in this area anyway so moving along into the next elevator which is gonna take us all the way downstairs okay here we go final part of this quest um well, Jack, if you're not entering the elevator, I'm just going to push the button. Bye. Usually in this case, the uh, companion always like pops up in the elevator after a while. Um, but I don't see Jack actually appearing. I'm still slowly healing from the food. Okay. Well, that was a bit weird. J Jack, are you okay? I mean, he can't die, but I feel like he's blocking the way for me. Okay, there we go. So he also took... Yeah, that's that Berserker Raider from before. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Okay, but I'm gonna take some duct tape first, because duct tape is really important, uh, Jack. Okay, and now we're in, like, the dungeon-y part of the building. But there seems to be a building inside of the building, and we kind of get the discovery music, which is also pretty cool. A bit, as, a bit of not-so-useful loot, but then we get into the lab. Proper look at this place. It is really, really shiny, even though it looks a bit dilapidated. It is still pretty shiny. Shut down the Abremlin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Look Hello, at that. Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. Lucifer's now, balls. One by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. Okay, so uh, let's start murdering. Containment field in order to open the door. Shit, they're breaking through the security doors. Hurry it up. There we go, so moving up and up and up, best along the up. hallway. My son is quite I'm capable of stopping you hurry. if he gets in yeah. here. Yeah. So, one raider scaver we can take out with normal shots. The simplest task was beyond your... Then we get lefty. Lefty's gonna go down to... Ooh, is lefty's not gonna go down. I'm gonna have to move back in here. Because this guy actually has a knife! Ow! Um, I don't have enough AP for the next bit. There we go. Um, so AP slowly coming back. Slowly coming back. And now we got that scaver over there. I can take them out with one critical. To the face. And then I think there was one more raider over there. I got my... Ooh. There we go. Lefty got the mysterious serum. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual Hell yeah. overdrive. And I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. He's lying. So there we go. Kill or free Lorenzo Cabot. Um, so there's two things we can do. So either open the door. That's the button. Or we flip all four switches and kill him in one go. Do the right thing. So let's uh, let's kill him because of course he's a, a crazy maniac with an artifact stuck to his head. So let's just flip all the switches. Let's flip all the switches. There we go. Abramalamalamalin and Abramalamalamalin generator number four. That's it. Don't worry. The Zeta radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, father. I did everything I could to avoid this. 
I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the art. Liar! Fed upon me here forever if you'd had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? Good. Goodbye, Father. And there goes Lorenzo Cabot. I'm actually wondering, can I now open up that door? I can, actually. Is that still highly irradiated? Seems seems fine to me. Let's grab Lorenzo's suit. But I can grab the artifact. I think you can, I think you can grab the artifact if you free him. Um, but other than that, there's a Massachusetts Excellent. Surgical Journal. So that's permanently 2% extra limb damage, which is always nice. And a very cool, uh, very cool image on top of that. The vegetable soup over here. Um, and even though the sound is still going, I don't think this actually causes me harm. Because I could probably even sleep in there if I want to. Now, Jack is making his way over here, so let's have a little chat with him. Hello, Jack. Hi. We didn't have any other choice, did we? Um, I agree. We, we, we didn't really have another choice. It seemed like this guy had a lot of power over those raiders. Uh, and on top of that, he if he really had telekinesis powers, like you said, we definitely needed to kill him. It was the only option left. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made from monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. Because this was just a start. If you put, if you would have released him, then you would have a giant gang of raiders just following this god, basically. So, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. So there we go. 500 caps. Um... Rewards. I can actually ask about a reward. Your family has got to be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. And there we go. We get a hint at what the actual reward is. Because if you remember, there was a, a peculiar little gun on his... Uh, on his work desk in Cabot House, the Zeta Gun. He actually has a way of combining the artifact with the Zeta Gun, and he's gonna give us that in about a week. So let's remember that to return to Cabot in about a week. Um, that's it for today's episode. I'm gonna take a little break. We've done a lot. We fought this uh, really, really powerful uh, armor, and then we completed the Cabot quest line and uh, killed Lorenzo Cabot. We're gonna, we're gonna get something really nice uh for that in return but before that i'm gonna take a little break so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode of fallout 4 survival and when we get back we're gonna go on a whole other adventure thanks for watching and goodbye